Hey guys, this is Oracle Daphne. Um, my name is Beth. I'm back again for the mid-March general reading uh, for everyone with their sun, moon, or ascendant in Aquarius. Everybody has been clamoring for these readings. Um, I think everybody's been waiting for these re readings as well. So um, I'm excited to finally roll them out for you. And um, I'm also excited for the other readings that I've been doing. Uh, I'm not sure if you've checked out my health videos or the um, videos I did for sex and relationships. But um, it's it's been exciting doing different things. And um, I'm going to be rotating through my decks. Um, chances are the health ones uh, I'm not going to be doing again for a while because they take up so much time. Um, but if you have special requests, um, I did do the specific Lyme disease focus uh, reading for March. If you have a spe special request, please let me know. And, uh, you know, I, I can't promise that I'll, I'll be able to do the video, but um, maybe, you know, so if I have time for it, I, I definitely will look into it and, um, and do it. So, um, Again, this is for everyone with their sun, moon, or ascendant in Aquarius, and I am still doing um, the tarot and uh, healing or cord cutting combo. Um, it's $100, it's 90 minutes, um, and I am doing my regular reading sessions. Um, it's one hour, it's 75, or two hours, it's 150. I don't do short readings because um, clients never uh, really want me to to, to really stop. They want me to keep going. They always want me to keep going, ask more and more questions. Um, so, so that's why um, I don't really have a short half hour reading. Um, but uh, you can contact me if you'd like a private reading at elizabetholson31 at gmail.com. And uh, I send lots of love to all of you guys who've been sending me wonderful emails and uh, all your lovely comments online. I don't, I as always, I don't respond to everyone because I can't because there's just so many. I can't keep up with it. But um, I do read everything and I appreciate it a lot. Um, so here we go for you, Aquarius, for the month of... April. Did I say March? I think I might have said March in the beginning. This is for April. Oh, no, what is this? This is for mid-March uh, 2015. Um, okay, so yes, yeah, so this is a for everyone with their sun, moon, or ascendant in Aquarius for mid-March 2015. So I'm just going to roll it out here and see what I get for you guys. This is a tough time for you guys. Ah, uh, gosh. I'm going to pull in another card. This is a tough time. <sighs> okay. So, it feels very, um, Aquarius, it feels very gloomy. It feels like... <sighs> Like the sunshine has needs to come out for you, um, and it's it's very gloomy right now for you. Some of you may be depressed. Some of you may feel um, getting down in the dumps. Um, it, it could be this crazy Uranus Pluto thing that's happening. It could also be you know um, a lot of things are going to be um, basically completed. Um, karmically um, during this upcoming um, eclipse on the 20th. Um, I feel like things will get better after that, after the 20th, but it's like the next, you know, week or so um, is, is, is going to be tough if you're watching this video, right? You know, I'm, I'm recording this on the 11th, so this is meant for mid-March. I feel like the last couple weeks, um, I feel like it's going to get better after the eclipse. I feel like right now is a tough time. For some of you, it might not get as better as you would like until April. Um, the first card that right out of the right out of the gate here is the Five of Pentacles, okay? And the Five of Pentacles is, um, you know, 
feeling very, you know, feeling depressed, either it's a breakup or, you know, you're, you're crying a lot, you know, you're in bed, you're crying, feeling just really down, feeling like, I usually see this as the breakup card. This is the card where you've broken up with somebody um, and you're upset about it. She feels lonely. It may not even be a breakup, but I feel like it's loneliness. I feel like this, there's a loneliness that's kind of plaguing you right now, Aquarius. And I'm not sure if that's because, um, again, planetary stuff. And I, and I generally think Pisces and Aquarius have a tough time. I know there are some Pisces and Aquarius that get along fabulously. But I feel like there's two months that I have always personally detested. November and March. And why? Because November is Scorpio, okay? And that's water, and it's intense emotionally, okay? And um, it's gloomy, you know? All the trees have lost their leaves. It's like a dark time, you know? And then March, it's still kind of windy and bitter. It has that bitter gloominess of winter, you know, still left. It's like winter's not quite yet over, you know, and it's that little bit that you have left to go before you get to the springtime. And it's, it's very tough time. Um, I feel like this is a tough emotional time for you, Aquarius. I feel like you are, are, um, going through some emotional stuff and I'm not, I wouldn't go so far as to say that this is like December, but it almost is. It feels a lot like the energy that we had in December. It reminds me of that spread where it was like a wall, you know? Um, and for whatever reason, you know, you feel really depressed and lonely. Um, you feel like maybe you don't have a lot of friends. Maybe there's not a lot of people around you. You've got the, the card that you've got crossing you is the fear card and having a, wor a negative headspace and feeling like there's no hope, like there's no light at the end of the tunnel. And there is, uh, but all this person can see is these birds. They can't see that light because they're blocked. They're distracted by these birds. You need to stay, you need to still look to the light, Aquarius. You still need to be hopeful. You still need to think um, positively, okay? Negative thinking is not going to do any good in mid-March or to the end of March. Now, in the distant past, we have this the sort of truth, using your sort of truth, and that is the foundation. So, in a way, this whole thing is about you setting your boundaries, speaking your truth, and I think that's what March and March is about, and being, um, and moving on with your life. If, you know, if there's any negativity that's come, come up, or that will come up, because even though this is distant past, it still colors the present, you know, so if there's any lingering issues about, um, you know, any negativity, you know, um, you need to, you need to stand up for yourself this month. You need to say, no, this is not acceptable. No. Similar to like what I did with my, this, with this client who recently posted something online, which I didn't see for some reason. I read all my posts, all the people that, all the notifications that I get, I read everything, but I, for some reason it kind of slipped through the cracks and it was, it was speaking negatively about my reading and, um, I believe it was actually a, like a two and a half hour reading. So if that person had not liked the reading or didn't like my style or there was something wrong, then we wouldn't have continued for that long. So that person, I feel like, was just acting immature. And um, I basically said it's unacceptable and they're no longer able to view my channel. Uh, but it's, it, is, it is about being... Um, I'm just getting bold. I'm getting the word bold. For some reason in March, you know, being bold, say, saying your piece, um, doing it in a positive way if possible. Um, now the recent, in the recent past, you've got this five of swords, which is conflict. Okay. It's also feeling a little bit of this survival mode energy. And survival mode, you know, to me is, is just all about, 
you know, being worried about gas and groceries and not thinking about, you know, not having enough to go buy a new sweater or something. You know what I mean? It's, it's just living in the base, you know, with the basics. Um, and it can also represent a negative person or a person that you know could be a guy um, or girl that is very, I'm getting into the word defensive, they may see themselves as being, always being the victim. They, they are quick to blame others. This person may be in your life and it may have caused some conflict or it's possible that this person's also in survival mode where they don't have two pennies to rub together. And they, um, survival mode is all about just, because I'm looking at this card and you can see He's willing to do whatever it takes to go. He's hungry, okay? He's, he's looking for food. He's, he's flying through the air, and he'll basically get anything that he can find, okay? He'll take what he can get, okay? So there's, there may be a person around you, Aquarius, um, that may be a taker in a way, a taker, getting a taker. Not necessarily because uh, they're a bad person, because I wrote this can be a bad dude, okay? Not all cases, though. Um, this, to me, there's several elements of this, and typically this is a Scorpio or Cancer. This, like, a, I call them the crustaceans, okay? I'm getting, for some reason, this could be another Aquarius. So Aquarius double, you know, doubles, you know, or couples, you know, Aquarius females. This could be an Aquarius dude in your life, or this could be like an ex-boyfriend that's an Aquarius for some of you. Um, I feel like the main thing about this guy in the recent past is that he just doesn't have money. And he's willing to do whatever he, he can get, you know, to, to get it. Um, and if that means working hard, if that means, I mean, he's a fighter. He's a fighter, so you don't want to mess with him. He's right now. He's hungry. He's hungry, and he's looking for food, and he's not looking for food, and he doesn't care what he has to do to get the money or to get, um, you know, stuff taken care of. You know, just to survive. Um, he's willing to go to a certain extent. Um, so I say he, but this could be a she as well, okay? So he or she. Um, and what's cross, sorry, what's crowning you right now is this freedom from worry card. So you have a little bit of a reprieve, okay? And this is sleeping well. This is just taking, this is moving. Some of you may be, you know, thinking about moving. But this is, to me, just the freedom from the worry, okay? So you've got this very strong fear energy crossing you. At the same time, what's crowning you is that you're not going to be in that fear energy for too long. You're going to be, you know, moving out of that kind of troublesome mindset and headspace. This is sleeping better than maybe you've been sleeping in the past. <sighs> to me, it just feels like it can also, for me, I'm just seeing there's, there may be a guy that's in your life, a female Aquarius, that is afraid of commitment. They're in survival mode. And they're afraid of commitment. And this is upsetting to you. It's this fear of commitment that maybe you were together with this person, you know, but they didn't really fully commit to you. And then you broke up. And now you're upset about it. Or maybe you like this guy. And for some reason, he, he's still afraid of committing to you. And he, but he's also in survival mode. So he's not really being able to see past his own you know, he's not, he's not really able to see anything right now. He's just in a certain phase of his life where he is trying desperately to survive. And he's not thinking about a relationship. He's thinking about survival. Uh, could also represent a girl in your life that's, that's also, um, you know, in a negative headspace, in that fear headspace, not wanting to commit. Uh, in the recent past, maybe you guys got into some conflict um, and, you know, she, you know, you and her had a fight, you know, uh, this is from Guy Aquarius, you know, um, for those of you who are single, this is just, <coughs> this pertains to your life. 
person, you're feeling really lonely, uh, you need to get into a relationship. Maybe, you know, you like someone that is afraid of commitment and they're, they're in a survival mode. Or you're having these fears um, and you're in survival mode if you're single and you don't like someone. It's just, you know, you could be just going through time where you're, you're worried about putting food on the table. You're worried about gas. You're worried about just going out, the basics. Um, and you need to be more positive. That's the main thing. Now, the, the thing that I don't like about this reading is that this is a lot of heavy stuff here. And I'm going through very carefully and slowly because this is very, very heavy. Mid-March, it's like, oh, I don't know what this is going, you know, I mean, I mean again, this, this, this potentially be the Uranus Pluto crap you know this could also be the eclipse thing it just feels like it's very like December very much like December and it's it's tough it's tough on Aquarius um, it's gonna be a little bit tough uh, for the last for the last couple weeks I feel of March um, and what you don't see coming is this tower card and the tower card is the breakup. The tower card is the unexpected. The tower card is sudden impact. It's something that happens when you're not no you're not ready for it. And I don't like this because there's a lot of fear and there's a lot of doubt. And that there's three fear cards here going on, Aquarius. Three fear cards. Okay. Um, you've got what I call the regular fear card. You've got the tower card, and you have the outcome as, to me, it's a, um, basically being terrified of getting hurt, okay? So you've got so much fear. So you've got this fear card, so I'm saying, right? I call it, you know, it's fear of commitment or just fear in general, uh, being afraid. Then we've got the tower, which can symbolize fear and doubt, okay? And then the outcome is the ten of swords, which is being terrified of getting hurt, and it usually it means that at some point um, you're going to get hurt or somebody's already hurt you, you know. Um, this is a very intense reading. Um, and what's coming in from the outside is the Four of Pentacles, which is the miser. So we have issues with money here. You know, maybe you're not wanting to spend the money that you have because, you know, you're in survival mode or you've been going through survival mode. And, but, you know, the four, or somebody in your life, it could be you, doesn't want to let go of the past. Could be somebody on the outside. Somebody, maybe this is guy, this guy you like, or maybe it's just that, um, you know, the universe is not really supporting you right now. It doesn't feel like you're supported right now. Especially because you have, to me, this is the lack of support from friends and family. This is feeling like um, nobody gives a shit, you know. This is feeling like where has everybody gone, you know. Um, you know, your friends aren't calling you. Your family's not calling you. You're kind of just like, what the hell, you know. And this too shall pass, Aquarius. It just feels like a very tough time for some of you. Um... And the message of the Four of Pentacles is to be more open, is to say, I am abundance. I am, you know, I have an overflowing bank account. I have more money uh, than Jesus. You know, saying these things, opening your palms like this to the sky, going like this, being like, I am receiving abundance right now. I, you know, I am abundant. Um, but then the thing about the miser is it may not be that, like, you don't want to spend money. I'm feeling like those of you who have money don't really want to spend it. There's something about going on in March, you know, maybe because you're in such a fear mode, you're like afraid of spending your money. But then again, if you're so afraid of spending it, the universe chances are isn't going to send you more. So you need to become a little bit more <sighs> giving. I always say talk about giving, um, especially with the money, and not so fearful about the loss, feeling like you don't have any. I feel like there's been a big struggle with money here. Big, big struggle. And I don't like the Tower card in the midst of this all because this, this is a big breakup. This is what it feels like to me. It feels like a breakup. Real bad. The thing is, is that it doesn't make sense 
um, for her to like, cause in the, the track that you're on is to me, the breakup card. So something has already happened to make her this way. Okay. And I see this as a female. Okay. Could be guys too, but I see this as a female. Um, and so that's already happened. And I feel like it has to do with this fear of commitment issue. Okay. So for this something for like the tower card to hit, either it's a divorce or breakup, but it's something with somebody else. Um, maybe you got into another relationship, but it doesn't feel like that. There's a couple things that are coming to me. It's the, it's like an unexpected incident where something happens and you, you know, that you're not, you know, kind of like out of the blue that you're not expecting. And, um, and it's negative. Okay. It's negative for some of you, to me, it feels like fear. It feels like doubt. It feels, feels like, you're afraid of losing your home. You're afraid of, you know, um, not having anything. You're afraid of loss. There's a fear of loss here. Um, and, and, and the financial aspect is concerning. Um, for those of you who have money, you may not just be, you just may not want to spend it. And for those of you who don't have it, maybe it's like you've been in survival mode for a while, you know, or maybe the thing is, is this feels again, very December. So it's like in the past you went through survival mode time and maybe you're remembering and maybe you're afraid of going back there again. And you're like, no, I don't want to go through that again. I've already been through that, you know, um, we've got, we've got this issue. It's kind of polarized. Like the distant past is good and the present what's crowning you is good. But recently and in the near future, it's, it's not, um, there's just, to me, it's like, you've got, a, you do have a wall here, um, actually of negativity. Um, and that's, that's creeped up on you. And I'm not sure how this happened to you, Aquarius. This is kind of creeped up on you. Um, and okay. So we've got that. And then the, your attitude is the devil card. And the devil card is all about temptation. It's all about having, I feel like a cord of attachment to the devil or to, um, to negative things or to negative people or to someone that has more power than you in a relationship uh, or seems to anyways, because the devil doesn't. The devil, the, the devil never can, okay? But they, he thinks he does. And for some reason, he's convinced you that he does, but he doesn't. Um, at any time, you know, she could break out at any time. This wall is very flimsy. It doesn't seem to be, but it is. She has the magic and the power because she's divine. And she, in my mind, is a princess somewhere. And, and, and she's wandered off. She's gotten lost with this devil. Um, he's taken all her clothes, but in, in, in a magical kingdom, she's, She's a fairy and she has a beautiful pink dress somewhere. And um, he's taken all that away, but she's 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 got the magic. If she snapped her finger, she could she could get out of there at any time. Okay? And so and she could take her heart back too. And I feel like Aquarius, I'm getting you need to take your heart back. Because maybe you've given your heart to the devil. He doesn't deserve you. Or the person that is the devil, that represents the devil, is, I feel like they're lording some power over you, or they, they have a lot of selfish desires. There's selfishness here. So you have, you have the miser, which is also selfishness, okay? And then you have the devil. Now, if you're a guy, you're the devil. I hate to tell you this because this is to me this is very male female okay um if you're in a relationship with a guy he's the devil okay if you're in a relationship with a girl she's trapped okay in some way um if you're watching this for someone you love they're trapped in some way
okay? It's not that, it's not that um, they can't break out. They may want to break out. Um, it may not be time for you, Aquarius, to break out. Although, I personally think you need to break free of this in some way. Um, you need to take your heart back. You say, no, you can't have that. That's mine, you know? Um, for some reason, you've given it to him because, because he's wearing a mask. So it's really interesting. I never realized this before. So in, in this image, you can't really see his face. There's this cloud sort of mask type thing that's kind of over his face. And he's wearing, he's wearing a mask. And so you can't see the real him. He wasn't showing you the real him. The real him is not what you think he is. Underneath, there's a person that's, um, who may have addiction problems, who may have especially sex addiction or alcohol addiction, or could be even drug addiction, um, And a lot of, they have a lot of insecurities, you know, and they have, you know, everything is tempting to them. There may be some cheating issues. There may be some temptations on their part. They may actually come across as being a good person and actually be, for the most part, a good person, but they have temptation issues. They may want to cheat, you know, they may you know, want to drink too much. They may want to go out too late. They may want to be a little bit wild because the devil's a little bit wild, okay? Um, so there's a wild side to this person. But still, you've fallen in love, fallen for the devil because he was wearing a mask because he didn't show you the real him. You just saw the, the, the good, okay? You didn't see the negative. And in order for you to break free, you need to recognize that that's who he is or that his, those behaviors are that's what he's choosing to do. Like that's how he's choosing to behave. And that may or may not change, you know. Um, be careful of getting into a relationship with anybody who has any addiction issues because chances are the addiction always wins, okay, in the relationship. So if you get into an argument with them, the addiction will win. Um person with the addiction will choose the addiction over you. That way it's really unfair. That's why it's the devil, because he's got you trapped and you can't, you can't make any changes. You can't um, make plans because this is because <sighs> he's, because he's addicted. You know? Uh, whoops, I just dropped the card. So now the outcome is again the ten of swords so this is feeling unsupported unloved this is somebody ripping a hole in your order this can be feeling very drained out the word for you for march is tired tired and depressed tired depressed and just low and just like I feel like this negativity is is taking over you in some way. It's trying to take over you. I feel like some of you are battling some illness. Um, and if so, please watch my health, you know, uh, video for March. Because um, I posted some links that might be helpful for you. Um, if you're not battling an illness and you're single and you're not in a relationship, You have, to me, it's you have, having money issues. To me, it's you being afraid of not having money. To me, it's you not feeling like anybody is there for you. Feeling like, just like, trapped in, or stuck in some way. Or um, feeling just like, like people don't want the best for you. And people are kind of out to get you. And that's kind of how you feel. You feel... Very, very sad and lonely and um, 
And um, the additional card that I pulled also isn't really that great, but it's, it's carrying other people's burdens. It's carrying a lot of emotional burdens on, uh, from others. Maybe others are complaining to you a lot, or maybe others are, um, I'm, I'm getting the word, um, like smoothing or mooching I guess the word mooching off of you in some way like somebody who, who's always like asking to you know come stay at your house or sleep on your couch or you know what I mean and then they come over and then they drink all your beer or something like that you know what I'm saying or it's like someone who's like a mooch somebody you know but it's also it's the people the relationships that you have um, with people aren't healthy you've taken on a lot of their problems and, um, you know, you may be a counselor in some way doing something similar to what I do. Um, you may be just listening too much to other people's problems and taking them on and absorbing that ener energy. My feeling is you need healing. You need healing really badly. Um, um, you know, cord of attachment issues. You got both car cor cards with cord of attachment issues. Uh, to me, that signals cord of attachment issues to the people that are in your life that are draining you, and um, it would benefit be, be beneficial. Uh, can't even talk. Be beneficial for you to have those removed. Um, and whether you do it with me or however you have it done, it's something that needs to be done. Um, You have a lot of the no cards in the deck here in this, in March. It feels like for you to have all this negativity and all these no's, it may feel like you're a fish trying to get upstream. It may feel like you're a gerbil going around in that gerbil mill. It may feel like it's difficult to get anything done. It may feel like you're not getting anywhere, but you're not supposed to get anywhere right now. Maybe in March, it's just kind of a time where you need to, <sighs> I'm getting the words decom decompress. You need to decompress. You need to process things that are going on. Um, it's not a time for you to be, you know, super active or super um, involved with the people in your life. It's kind of a calm time. Uh, but this, to, you know, this actually doesn't feel, sorry, I shouldn't say calm. Because this to me feels like storm, okay? But calm is when I say, you know, you may, you may have a lot of problems in, in, in March. Things that, you, things that you have to do that are going to cause you some stress. Um, or things that come up that cause you some stress in March. To me, March does not feel like the best month for you. Not at all. Not in the slightest. Um, what you've got to do is you've got to stay positive. You've got to not have fear. You've got to just roll with the punches. You've got to be open to the universe. You've got to be open to change. You've got to be really, um, really critical. If there's someone in your life that's, um, you know, that's the devil, whether it's male or female, it doesn't matter. You need to take your heart back and say, no, 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 you don't have my heart. You don't get to have my heart because it's my life and I get to do what I want with it. And uh, I'm going to give it to somebody who deserves it. Uh, so you kind of have to do that. And, you know, you have to reach out. I feel like you need to reach out to the people who do care about you. Because I feel like there are people that care about you, but it may not feel like there is. And, um... You may have some issues with backstabbers uh, this, you know, in March. Um, so at the end of March. So just be on the lookout for people. Anybody that's coming towards you, you know, or that's kind of coming at you out of the blue in the full-blown attack mode. You know, because there's this attack mode. And then to me, this is the backstabbers. So you kind of have both. You have the attack mode and you have backstabbers. And you have the devil and the tower card in the same thing. Um... There is another possibility that this person, the devil, may be in a relationship with someone and there's a breakup happening.
It could be that the devil is, um, is tempted because of you as well. It may not be that you're tempted. It may be that the devil is tempted. It could also be, it seems weird, but I don't, I don't normally get this. It could also be that the devil just really wants love. The devil just really wants, wants the love so badly. Again, the Five of Swords is all about being hungry, needing things so badly that it doesn't matter who gets hurt, you're going to get it. You know, you're going to get what you want. You don't care if you swear. You don't care if you yell. You don't care who you hurt, what you say. You're going to get it. Um, and the devil is willing to lie, cheat, and steal to get the love. Because that's their motivation. It's a selfish motivation. But it's like he's looking for love in all the wrong places. And it's sort of like he's kind of held you prisoner because maybe you are the only person that can give him this love. And so in some roundabout way, there's, you know, the court of attachment is very strong there. Or in some roundabout way, the devil is um, trying to win your heart in some way. But instead of trying to win it, he just takes it. Or maybe you give it to him. Um, it just feels like, so we have, okay, so we have the devil. And then we have the miser. And there's two cards. So there's two cards that are all about hanging on. Okay? And, and two cards about hanging on. Clinging on. Feeling trapped. Clinging on. The devil's holding on to this heart. It's, it's, and it's also selfishness, too. It's selfishness. The devil and the miser, there's greed and there's selfishness there. Um, and it's... All this stuff is blocking you from blessings, okay? What I would say is that right now you're blocked hardcore in March. Moving forward, doing anything new, trying new things trying to fly to the moon, try to get your housework done, trying to get out of the house, trying to go somewhere, going on a trip. This is not the time. In March, this is not the time. No. Um, to me, the you know, you have three positive cards out of this whole spread, and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are eleven cards, right? So, because I, it's a 10 card spread, but I pulled the 11th card. Okay, so, and today is, you know, the 11th. So, this is, that this is, you know, makes sense. Um, the three cards that are positive is the decision, making the decision card, speaking your truth, setting your boundaries, having freedom from worry, and the nine of pentacles, and the position of emotions. Very, very strange. Okay, so this card is all about this this is the star card okay this is all about um you know basically everything you can dream of magic music and beauty this is to be you know and in, this isn't a position of emotion so some of want to be a movie star or music star or to be fa to be famous this is this is coming into your own power maybe those of you who are watching are, you know, some, you know, love, either you love music or uh, you play an instrument or you just like, um, you know, there's an element of finding, figuring out who you are. And it is possible, you know, through all this negativity that you're kind of on this journey to, to really shine. Because you're going to shine because all this negativity is going on you are going to stand out to me it's like you emotionally you're supposed to I'm getting you're you're stepping into your own shadow so this month is a month basically you become famous if you're destined to become famous this is the month where 
you look at your shadow self. You take a look at yourself and you say, you know, maybe I am negative. Maybe I, I do am afraid. Maybe I am scared of getting hurt. Maybe I'm afraid of commitment. Maybe, um, you know, I, I have a very sharp tongue and the things that I say hurt people. But, uh, you know, I've been on a, a mission to, you know, survive for so long that, you know, maybe you haven't realized it. Maybe, you know, you are feeling lonely. Maybe you are feeling depressed. Maybe you feel like a strong sense of doubt um, or maybe you are afraid that you're, you know, the, your home life, something goes going on in your home life and it's going to change and you're afraid of things changing. Um, and, you know, maybe, you know, you have selfish desires. Maybe you're looking at yourself and saying, I am selfish. I want to be with somebody who's married or I want to be with somebody who's, you know, uh, unavailable or I uh, am maybe, you know, you know, you're looking at it and saying, well, maybe I have given my heart to the wrong person, you know, or maybe I've given my heart to somebody who um, will end up, you know, hurting me in the end, you know. So, and the thing is, it's because you have the devil here followed by this, you terrified, you're terrified of getting hurt, Aquarius. Um, you know, maybe it's just time that you face these fears. Maybe it's time you face the reality of what's, your the negative aspect to yourself, your shadow set, you know, and looking at it and really looking at it and be like, wow, this is, this is what's really going on here. Um, to me, this is pain. This is very painful. This is a very painful time. This is pain and suffering. This is not a pretty time. This is trauma. This is pain. This is suffering. Um, this is depression. Very strange, though, because in the beginning of March, you're going to feel lonely and sad. And then emotionally, things are going to change for you, whether you become famous or whether you kind of step into your own power, um, either mid to the end of March. I feel like this is, this is the eclipse. This is the eclipse. This is the 20th. Emotionally, things are going to change for you. Things are going to click in um, on the 20th. Um, that's my feeling. Um, you're still going to have to deal with some crap. You're still going to have to face these issues. Um, and you are very strong and, you know, you need to say no because you've taken on too many other people's burdens. And maybe the reason you're so lonely is because, you know, you maybe in the beginning of March, you stopped taking on other people's burdens because it was too much for you. And then at the end of March, you start taking on other people's burdens again. But you've got to find the balance in helping others or taking care of others and taking care of yourself. Because it feels like this month is, is kind of a month of self-discovery and self-understanding and self-knowledge. So, um, I'm tempted to read one final card. <laughs> um... I'm going to pull a card for any final messages because I don't like leaving off on a bad note. And I feel like the, um, you know, month of March is going to be a really, it's a tough month for everyone. Um, but especially for you, Aquarius. Um, so the final message is the queen of cups and the queen of cups. The final message is to trust, trust that everything is going to be okay. Trust that, you know, that, you know, that things are going to work out. Trust that, um, trust in your intuition and your heart and follow your heart um, and listen to the stars. You know, I, I recently connected with the stars and the stars said, they kept saying, we are the stars and we love you. <laughs> they kept saying, oh, every time I look at the stars now, I just keep hearing them say that and I think that's awesome. Um, so I guess I'm in, I guess I'm in tune with the stars. So this is me in some way. Um, the message here for you is be artistic, be creative, listen to music, be true to yourself. Um, 
follow your heart, follow your guides, follow your intuition, um, and and just believe that everything will be okay in the end. Um, but this is a tough time, so um, if you know if it seems tough, well then you know you heard it from me, <laughs> and I told you. <laughs> Um, but I just wish you the best with it. So anyways, I'm going to send you some big hugs, big kisses, and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Thanks, Aquarius. Take care.